and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger, the back to the video. This one's going to be about uh, nine uh, fruits of the spirit and how to walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Let's go, let's go. Number one thing is charity. Uh, the Bible says over and over again that charity is one of the most important things. Charity is another word of love. And this is, um, before I get on with the nine uh, signs, this is what the Bible says about the fruits of the spirit. In Galatians chapter five, verse 22 to 23, it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. And against such, there is no law. Okay, so one of my favorite verses in the Bible is 1 Peter chapter four, verse eight. I remember it's like one of the first Bible verses I remembered like way back in the days, like 2014. This is in um, 1 Peter chapter four, verse eight says, and above all have fervent charity among yourself for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. So you having charity, you having love for uh, one another, you helping out the homeless, helping out those in need, okay? That would cover a multitude of sins. Wow, we all sin, we all fall short. And, you know, of course we could repent. And when you have charity, when you have love for uh, your neighbor, your brother, your sister, uh, those in need, uh, that would cover a multitude of sins. That verse, I'm telling you, back in 2014, that's one of the first Bible verses that God put in my heart. I, I'll never forget that. And even so to this day, you know, we want our sins covered. Of course, we have the blood of Christ, obviously, repent. And also, you know, having charity. So I feel like that's why I put this number one. Uh, the Bible even says that to have faith, charity, and hope. And the greatest of all is charity. So charity, charity, charity is important when you want to walk in the spirit. So you won't feel less of the flesh. A lot of you brothers may be on semen retention, no fat, or maybe you sisters on celibacy. Walking in the spirit is very key to walking, you know, walking in discipline. All right, next verse up would be Colossians chapter 3. Verse 12 to 14 says, Put on therefore as elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, as also do ye. And above all, put on charity, which is a bond of per uh, per perfectness. So charity is a bond of perfectness. So charity, charity. You know, the Bible even says in 1 Corinthians chapter 60, verse 14, it says, Let all things be done in charity. In love, okay? Uh, one last verse in charity, too. I mean, there's like 30, 40 Bible verses on charity, but these are the ones that stick out the most to me. And uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 says, Follow charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. Okay, so the Bible says over and over again to have charity, to follow after charity, too. So very, very key. Next one up, this this one is deep, okay? Self-control, uh, temperance. So this is in uh, Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28 says, but he that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down without walls. Okay, whoever does not have control over their spirit, you see how a lot of people are given over to rage and, you know, anger, uh, you know, doing, making decisions that they will regret down the line. A lot of people are given over to that. And that's due to no self-control. And let me read this verse one last time. It says, he that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down without walls. So think about you're in a spiritual warfare, right? You're battling against the devil, uh, the agents, the demons, the gang stalkers, the witches, the wizards, all that, right? And you have no self-control. That, that building, that the hedge of protection is now cast down. Now you have these agents, these demons and devils are now going to attack you. Okay, so self-control is a key when it comes to fighting spiritual warfare. Now, of course, you want to have the armor of God, but also you want to have self-control walking in the spirit, okay? Uh, remember, because when you're not walking in the, in the spirit and walking in the flesh, you can open up doors for the devil to attack you, okay? So have rule over your spirit, have self-control, okay? Next one up is patience, okay? Patience, this is one thing that a lot of us struggle with, especially when it comes to us who want to better our lives. We, we want it the next day, we want it the next month, but that's not how it works because the Bible says everything is a season in life. So you're gonna have a season of you winning, then you're gonna have a season of you losing. And see, when you're in a losing season, you gotta prepare for the, the winning season. You gotta prepare, you know, change what you got, change what you gotta change of. Uh, let go of certain people that aren't, aren't good for your life. Give up certain vices or certain sins that you're struggling with. And you gotta prepare for the next season. Is patience, okay? So this is in Romans chapter uh, twelve, verse twelve. It says, "Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, and continuing instant in prayer." Okay. Uh, Romans chapter five, verse three says. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation work patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope make not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which it give us unto us. Okay, so patience is experience, and experience works hope. Okay, so patience is the key. 
Patience is the talent. Patience is a gift, bro. You got to have patience. And when you, I notice that the more I am in the spirit, the more patient I am. Because I understand that whatever God has for me is for me. No man could take away. Uh, whatever God blesses, no man could curse. No matter what demon, what, what devil, what child of Satan tries to take away your blessings that God has for you, no one could no one could take it away, okay? So just be patient. Wait on God. Like I said, if you're in the losing season, we all, that's how it works, okay? We're not always going to be on top. We're not always going to be, you know, uh, winning. Sometimes God will, lie. even Job, Bible says Job was a perfect man. He had a losing season. Y'all saw what he went through, okay? And even though that was a losing season, it was actually a, actually a winning season in disguise. He just had to go through the little, little test, okay? So always keep that in mind. It's all season. So have in the midst of you knowing that, this is why wisdom is so important because wisdom lets you know that. Okay, you know I might doing the best right now, but if you can, if you fight through these temptations, uh, you you go through the endurance. Okay, uh, you you know don't give up, don't give up the hope, don't give up the faith, don't give up the charity. Okay, in due season you're gonna reap a, a good harvest. Okay, and I'll go over that verse in a bit. So next one up is kindness. Okay, so this is in one Corinthians chapter thirteen verse four to five says charity suffer long and is kind. Charity envy not. Charity uh, does not puff up itself. Okay? It does not behave unseemly, uh, nor seek it her own. It is not easily provoked to think no evil. Okay, so when you have true charity, you're going to be kind. And it's funny because this world will make you seem weak for you being kind. This world will make you make you weak for being humble. Meekness is also a fruit of the Holy Spirit too. Uh, this world will make you seem like you're just so weird and wrong for you, you know, for operating the fruit of the Spirit because this world is operating in the flesh. So. When you have self-control, when you have patience, when you have kindness, when you have faith, when you have joy and peace, the people of this world, there are gentleness right here, gentleness. When the people of this world are going to look at you as weak, okay? But to God, you're strong because you're doing what he wants you to do. We're all supposed to be walking in the spirit. It wasn't until Adam and Eve did what they did. Now we have our flesh. Now we got to battle every single day. So always remember that if you're kind, the world's going to call you weak, weird. They're going to look at you like... Like you're, like you're David before he uh, fought uh, Goliath. That's what, how people are going to look at you. Okay, But always keep it in mind, you're being obedient, and there is a reward for those who sow righteousness. Next one up is five, is faithfulness. Okay, uh, this, is in, this is also another verse I got put in my heart when I first uh, came in uh, to the truth. So 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12 says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be an example of believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Okay, so... Um, See how that says charity? It mentions charity. It says, uh, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of believers in word, in conversation. So how you speak, in charity, in love, in spirit, you know, walking in the spirit, in faith, okay? Faith in God, faith in Christ, and in purity. You know, that's why I made my videos on no fap, semen retention, and celibacy. All goes hand in hand, okay? So, uh, yeah, having faith, true faith, okay? Uh, number six is goodness, okay? So this is in... Uh, oh, also, let me actually read these uh, faith verses. Okay, so this is this also, I mean, I can say this a lot of verses, but this is one thing that God put in my heart back when I was on my walk. It's in uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. It says, so faith, so then faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Okay, so whenever you, when you're, whenever you're obedient to the word, that is through your faith. Okay, you, faith says faith comes by hearing the word of God. Okay, also uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that come to God must believe that he is he, and he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, so it says, without faith, okay, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Okay, so number six is goodness. So it says, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus into good works, which God has or before ordained that we should walk in them. So best believe when you're walking in the Spirit, you're going to produce good works because you're producing fruits. Okay, you're, you're, All this, when you walk in the spirit, remember the Bible says you know a tree by its fruit. So charity, self-control, patience, kindness, faithfulness, goodness, uh, joy, which I'm going to go over all in a bit. Okay, So when, remember, you know a tree by its fruits. Those who have a good tree that bears forth good fruits is going to pro, uh, proclaim all this. Okay, So next one up is goodness. Okay, So goodness is... Oh, also, let me read one last verse too. Um, so this is in... Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, 16, it says, Let your life light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Okay? All this correlates to bearing good fruit when you're in the Spirit. Okay? And it says, uh, Let us not be wary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. What I was talking about with patience. Okay? It says, Let us not be weary in well-doing. Okay? 
For in due season, we shall reap and faint not. Notice that's in due season. So it's all seasons of life. It talks about this in Ecclesiastes 6, chapter 3. Okay, so um, joy. Okay, joy. So this is, an, uh, this is a good verse too. A lot of these verses I'm going over is like one of the first verses that God like, like led me to in the beginning, my beginning stages. And even though these verses are, might be kind of like to the average person, like not really mean much, but if you really apply it to your life you and, and you stay on the walk and you gain wisdom, gain knowledge, godly knowledge, godly wisdom, it will show you that how important this verse is. Okay. James chapter one, verse two to four says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into many temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. So it says, count it all joy when you fall into temptations, okay? Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work patience, which goes in hand with number three, okay? All this goes in hand with walking in the spirit. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so it says, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Woo! Okay, that's a good one. I'm kind of under the, the weather right now, so my woo is like, <laughs> I know you guys probably could tell. But anyways, Romans chapter 15, verse 13 says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, so next one up is, is peace. Okay, the Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. It also says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22, it says, The fully also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, and, and with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Okay, so follow after righteousness, faith, okay, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Okay, um, next one up would be gentleness. Okay, um, it also says meekness is also for the spirit. I don't know how much space to put it in, but uh, meekness, the Bible says about the meek shall inherit the earth, being humble. It also says that God resists the proud, the arrogant, but he gives grace to the humble. So being humble, being meek, that's also fruit of the spirit too as well. Okay, so next one up is gentleness, okay? Um, this is Titus chapter 3, verse 2. It says, to speak evil of no man, but to be brawlers, but be, sorry, be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto man, okay? Being humble to all men, okay? Um, it even says that so to speak evil of no man, okay? Uh, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing meekness unto all men. Okay, uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse one says, and a soft answer, turn away wrath, but grievous words serve anger. It even says that uh, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, that it says, follow peace with all men and holiness. Without such, no man shall see the Lord. Okay, so it's very important to be gentle, to be humble, to have peace with all men, not just few men, but to all men have peace with. And I don't understand in, this, in these last days, you have the tares who are trying to cause hell in your life pretty much, you know? But even even the children of Satan try to make peace with everybody. Okay, now if they want to attack you, they want to cast their stones. Let them. That's that's what the devil is going to do. That's what a child of Satan is going to do. But you walk in your peace. Okay, the Bible even says, "Don't cast your pearls in the swine. Just keep it moving. Keep it walking." All right. Next one up is joy, goodness, faithfulness, kindness, patience, self control, and charity. These are the fruits of the spirit. Like I said, it's probably I think it was ten because there's no meekness on here. I'll have to change that right now. But I hope you guys got edified from this video. Continue walking the spirit. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.